So now we are going to jump into 3D and immersive media. We've seen uh, that more and more creative professionals are producing work using 3D tools. These tools are great for creating immersive environments, but they're also value for, valuable for traditional projects. I mean, many of you know that rendering a scene in a 3D tool is oftentimes cheaper and easier than assembling all of the elements for a traditional photo shoot or TV commercial. We're so convinced about the value of 3D today and in the future that we added the Substance team and suite of products to the Adobe family this year. We're gonna see a quick video that shows the amazing things you can create in the Substance suite, and then I'll be joined by the leader of 3D and immersive development at Adobe and the founder of the Substance suite, Sebastian Degui. Let's roll the video. Welcome, Seb. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm continuously blown away by what's, also, you know, what's achievable with the Substance Suite. Maybe you can just, for a few minutes, describe to everyone uh, what is Substance? What can people do with it? Sure. Uh, the Substance Tool Suite is all about bringing 3D objects to life with what we call uh, textures and materials. Details like the wrinkles around the character's eye or a woven texture of a shirt, uh, the moss growing between old cobblestones. Substance Painter lets you create these textures and paint these textures directly onto a 3D object. Uh, but you don't have to start from scratch. You can actually go to Substance Source and browse one of the thousands of 3D materials that we have created uh, internally. And you can make, them your, uh, make them, uh, these materials your own material. You customize it in a very intuitive, very what you see is what you get way. You use sliders to adjust how much dirt there is on a road or uh, make a pattern more or less uh, random, or just whether a wood floor is shiny and new or old and scratch. So um, maybe you can just give us a sense of what kinds of teams and, uh, and companies are using Substance on a daily basis. Super proud of that. And uh, most of the AAA game developers today use the Substance Suite. And uh, our tools were used on games like Fortnite, Forza, Spider-Man, and all of the most popular games you find out today. Uh, it's used as well in uh, visual effects. and. Uh, on movies like Blade Runner 2049, Ad Astra, or Terminator Dark Fate. Um, lately, we've seen uh, the Substance Tools actually picked up by uh, industrial designers um, uh, and companies like BMW, IKEA, Samsung, uh, Louis Vuitton, or even NASA. Uh, so they use Substance to visualize exactly what a chair or a phone um, or a rocket part would look like actually before building it. Uh, lately, also, we've seen architects uh, pick up the tool more and more. Uh, they can essentially build a house virtually and let their clients walk through it and uh, get the experience of living in it. So um, you're now the leader of the new 3D and immersive organization at Adobe. Maybe you could just share a little bit about what the team is focused on in this exciting new medium. Sure. Well, I, I really believe that we're in a golden age for 3D and immersive media, and we've solved some of the toughest technical issues. Um, what we need now is more great content. And uh, to get there, we need, I feel we need 3D tools to empower artists uh, to create these realistic 3D immersive experiences. And this is exactly what we're doing with Substance, uh, but also with Aero, Dimension, and more to come. And this is why we're super excited to join Adobe, in fact. Um, uh, when you think about it, accessible and intuitive product design is in Adobe's DNA. Um, I feel that the very mission of that 3D immersive team at Adobe, the new team, um, is make 3D more accessible to many more artists. And that makes me and my team super excited, actually. Um, we believe the time is right for creative to jump into this new world of 3D immersive media. Well, we are really excited to have you, Sebastian. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome Thank you to again, team. Scott. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>